Hi all, I'm Vinay Kumar. In the series of Comfort Exam 4, today I will explain you about bit banning. Uh, this bit banning is one of the important features of Comfort Exam 4. Uh, let's start the video. Today, in this video, I will explain you what is bit banning and what are the advantages of bit banning and uh, uh, how to implement bit banning by using C program. Okay, see here, bit banning enables every individual bit in the bit banning region to directly accessible which means you know in our memory map one particular region is allocated to bit banning okay i will show you that thing also in my next slide one particular region is allocated to bit banning and in that region you can access every you can enable every single bit for reading writing okay in general you can't uh, access a single bit of memory okay if you want to access a uh, a memory it's possible to access only eight bits that is one byte by using memory address but this bit banning feature enables us to access each and every single individual bit of the bit banning region here also you can access a individual bit of only bit banning other than bit banning region you can't access anything okay remember that thing also here see it also enables individual bits to be toggled without performing a read modify write sequence of instruction which means if you want to toggle a single bit that is suppose a bit is zero if you want to change this bit to one uh, in general you have to first you have to first read this bit and you have to modify this to one and you have to write it back okay this is the general procedure but by using bit banding you no need to do all these things you can simply write one and at this bit field okay how you can write the one uh, directly to the bit field means here you need to know the bit field address that is nothing but alias address i will explain you these things uh, here here see this is the uh, arm cortex m4 system memory map i got this diagram from reference manual I will give you the link of reference manual in description. You can go and you can get this. Here, see, uh, this is the SRAM region, you know, 0.5 GB of SRAM region. Here, see, uh, at the starting of SRAM region, that is 1 MB. 1 MB of SRAM region is bit banning region. Here, observe. 1 MB of SRAM region is bit banning region. And this bit banning region starts from 0 cross to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And it ends at 0 cross 201 00 0000. Here, see this 1 MB of memory is called bit banning region, and whatever the memory block present or whatever the bits present in this particular memory block, you can access individual bits. Okay. And here, see here one more uh, block is there that is bit band alias. What is bit band alias? Here, observe if you want to uh, enable individual bit to read or write then first you have to know the address of that particular bit that uh, the address of that particular bit is stored in this bit band alias region here see this is 32 bit mb it starts from 0 cross 22 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 here this 32 mb of memory is used to store all the addresses of these bits here you know in this 1 mb in this bit band region 1 mb in this 1 mb we have many bits okay in every byte we have eight bits for all the bits uh, there is a specific address that address are stored in this bit band alias region okay this alias address is nothing but the individual bit address okay and one more bit band region is there see here in this peripheral uh, memory block uh, it is also 0 0.5 GB. Here also, the first 1 MB is allocated for bit band region. And uh, uh, here also 32 MB is allocated for bit band alias. This 32 MB bit band alias is used to store the addresses of bit band region. Okay. I hope you understand. Let's move forward. Here I'll explain you clearly uh, how the bit band alias memory block stores the alias address of bit band region here see this part this bottom part is nothing but bit band region here see this is a bit band region error right 
it is with branch region and this top one this one this is alias alias region here see if i want to uh, find the zeroth bit address here observe this is the zeroth bit this is the zeroth bit if i want to find uh, what is the address of this zeroth bit then i have to refer, refer the first memory block of alias region here see the first memory block of alias region is stored with the address of 0 cross 2 to 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this is the address of this zeroth location okay understand suppose if now i'm gonna give one more example wait let me erase these things then it is clear to you okay i'll give one more example here if suppose if we want to find the bit band address for this first bit this is the first bit this is the first bit then you have to refer the second memory block of bit band region okay see here this is the second memory block second memory block of bit band region whatever the address present within the second memory block of uh, bit band region is nothing but address of first bit okay suppose here observe if i want to find uh, what is the alias address of seventh bit here observe it is seventh bit seventh bit of first memory location now you have to refer the seventh memory block of uh, seventh address seventh address presenting alias bit alias region here what are the content here this content is nothing but address of this bit band region okay this is how uh, the bit band alias region is organized with the uh, uh, the bit band alias, alias region is allocated with the addresses of bit band region okay see here and in general if you want to write or uh, if you want to implement any program then uh, you should have a formula for finding the alias address here observe if you want to find the alias address of suppose I have a memory address that is 0 cross 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is the starting address of bit band region okay if I want to find suppose it is 8 bit address it's like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay if I want to find the 0th bit uh, Big band alias region. I mean, uh, if I want to find the alias address for this zeroth bit, then there is one formula for finding the alias address for every single bit. That is nothing but alias address equals to alias base. This alias base is nothing but here observe in that uh, uh, memory block I have already shown you the alias address starts from 0 cross 2 to 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 this is the starting address of alias region that's what you have to give here alias base plus 32 times bit band memory here bit band memory is nothing but this one 0 cross 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is the base address of this particular memory block so you have to give bit band memory as 0 plus uh, 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 and minus bit band base here observe bit band base also this thing only this is actually bit band base and here in this example i took the same base as my uh, bit band region okay here you have to give bit band base that is nothing but from which address the bit band region starts uh, plus bit here you have to give bit number if you want to find the zeroth bit address you have to give zero here if you want to find the first bit the address you have to give one here and at the end uh, here you will get the address of alias by using this address if you want to write zero and the first position you can directly give alias address equals to zero there is no need to read or uh, modify write there is no need to do all this stuff you can directly give the values at alias address okay this is the formula for finding the alias address in my next video i will explain you how to implement the same formula in c programming and i will i will show you with example i think you understand about the bitband alias region 
I will give you the next video link in the description box itself or at the end cards also. You can go and watch how to implement uh, this Bitband, uh, Bitband example. Okay. If you want to contact me directly, I will give you my mail ID, Instagram channel and Telegram channel in the description box. Uh, go through it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.